Hello everyone. Today's video will simply be a quick summary of an amazing flat earth proof made by our good PhD friend, Dr. John D. His video is extraordinary. It not only debunks the globe myth, but also teaches us in demonstrable detail about mirages and refraction and how the physics of refraction and mirages cannot cause distant objects to magically refract around a physical curvature blockage to present a false flat earth. It's absurd. It's impossible. At the making of this video, Dr. John D's video only has 920 views, when it should have hundreds of thousands of views, and I only want to bring more attention to Dr. John's work. I'll have a link in the description, and I strongly suggest you watch the one hour and 15 minute long video, subscribe to Dr. John D, and share his video and channel everywhere. A big thanks to those channels which have already shared his work. Dr. John D's long distance observations were of the Rampion Wind Farm, which is located eight miles off the coast of England, between England and France. I have identified his approximate coordinates here in front of the Worthing Sailing Club. Here is more documentation regarding the location of the wind farm. We are concerned with these six turbines on the left, numbered one through six, which will appear on the right hand side of the actual video. From the observer's position, the closest of those six turbines was a little over eight miles away, and the furthest of the turbines was nearly 11.2 miles away from the camera. Now, Dr. John did film from two different camera heights, two feet and three and a half feet. I'm going to be concentrating on the 3.5 foot footage. Here's footage of his camera at 3.5 feet, and it also shows his location in front of the Worthing Sailing Club. Under the globe model, the horizon marks the physical point at which the purported curvature begins to obstruct distant objects. Dr. John D. defined the globe physical geometric horizon as the maximum distance that the sea and the sky can be observed to meet. It's a good definition. You can calculate the distance to the alleged globe horizon by multiplying 1.225 and the square root of the observer's height in feet. Or you can just use an online calculator like this Earth Curvature Calculator that uses the official globe dimensions. So according to the official globe math at a 3.5 foot observation height, the physical horizon would have to be closer than a mere 2.3 miles. And that's assuming a perfectly smooth ball. So large waves, miraging and atmospheric opacity may easily reduce that distance to the alleged physical horizon, but there's no way to increase the distance to the globe physical horizon without increasing the elevation of the camera. For brevity, I'm leaving out much of Dr. John D's footage, but you should go and watch it all. I chose this specific footage because there is a distant boat far behind those six turbines. Of course, the boat should be entirely hidden behind the supposed ball of Earth, but that's not what I want to address. Because the boat is higher perspectively than the base of the turbine that was 11.2 miles away, we know, as a matter of fact, that there is absolutely not even a centimeter of curvature present. Remember, according to the globe, the horizon was supposed to be closer than 2.3 miles, and that horizon is far beyond the turbine, beyond 11.2 miles. What is the reasonable implication of this video evidence? This is indisputable evidence that there is no measurable curvature when the globe model says that the curvature should be easy to measure and detect over these distances. Because the curvature does not exist, the globe model is false. If you know my channel, you know I have dozens of these long distance proofs. This flat earth awakening is our path to freedom because until we can set aside these biggest and easily proven lies, we'll never be able to shake off this stranglehold on humanity. And that's the only reason why I'm here. Thank you, Dr. John D., for your amazing work. May God bless you all in your pursuit of truth.